Welcome back to our section about the special triangles. In this video, we're going to talk about the 30-60-90 triangle. Let's start. Before I start, I want to make sure that you understand the relationship between angles and sides. Remember, a right triangle will always have two legs and one hypotenuse. Also, the angles are always opposite to the sides they belong. That means that this side belongs to this angle. As you can see, he's opposite to the sides. Also, this angle here is opposite to size B. That is why the hypotenuse is always the opposite of the 90 degree angle. Understanding this, let's go ahead and talk about the 30, 60, 90. Well, remember, when you have 30 degrees, the value is going to be x. When you have 60 degrees, the value is going to be x times the square root of 3. And when you have the 90 degree angle, the value is going to be 2x. Okay, so now understanding that, I can go ahead and review it here. I see that if they give me the value of x, I can go ahead and know the value of 30, the value of 60, and the value of 2 times x, which is the 90 degree angle. Let's see what that means. Okay. So they tell me that the value of x is equal to 2. I can go ahead and follow the ratio. For 30, it's going to be 2 because that's the value of x. For 60, I know this is going to be 2 times the square root of 3. And for 90, this is going to be 2 times 2 because remember, that's 2 times x, which is 4. Therefore, when x is equal to 2, I know that this guy is 2. This guy is 2 times the square root of 3. And this guy is... 2 times 2, which is equal to 4. Let's do some examples. All right. They only give me this size, which belongs to the 30 degree. That means that for the 60 degree, this is going to be 5 times the square root of 3. And let's see if you can tell me the hypotenuse. I hope you told me 10. Remember, 5 times 2 will give me 10. Let's do another one. If the hypotenuse is 20, I remember that 20 must be equals to 2x. Because remember, this ratio is always being followed by the triangle, no matter what. So now you can see that in order to get x, I need to go ahead and divide it by 2 because 2 times x is equal to 20. Therefore, x must be what? 10. Now that I know the value of the 30 degree angle, which is the value of x, I can go ahead and figure it out the value of 60, which is going to be 10 times the square root of 3. All right, now they give me the value of the 60 degree angle. By the way, the 30 degree can also be here and the 60 degree can also be placed here. No matter where you place them, they will always follow the ratio. That means that for the 60 degree being placed here, the opposite one is going to be x times the square root of 3. Therefore, now my degree of 30 is going to be the value of x by itself, which in this case is going to be 6. Finally, the hypotenuse is going to be 12. And I'm going to be very repetitive and we're going to do a little bit of, uh, you know, many examples because I want to make sure you understand the ratio. It's so easy. Once you know the ratio, you can do this, guys, back and forward. So now they give me the hypotenuse, which is 2 times x. Again, remember, I want the value of x by itself. That means that the value of 30 is equal to 7, and the value of 60 is 7 times the square root of 3. You see here that I switch the values. I put the 60 here and the 30 here, and I can do that, as long as I respect the ratio of the triangle. Now they give me the hypotenuse is 6. Well, remember, the value of x is going to be half of that because 90 degrees follows the ratio 2 times x. Therefore, the value of x is going to be 3. But remember, this is a 6-degree angle, and the value of x belongs to who? The 30-degree angle. That is why I put a 3 here, and now that I know the value of x, I can go ahead and figure out the value of 60, which is 3 times the square root of 3. Again, this is 4, I'm doing the same thing. For the 30 degree angle, I'm going to do half of that, which is 2, and the 60 degree angle is 2 times the square root of 3. Let's do a tricky problem. In all of the triangles that we did before, we had the square root of 3 on the 60 degree angle. 
But what happens when they give me a nine here? You're gonna ask me, what is my square root of three? How can I figure it out, the value of 30 or the value of the hypotenuse? Not a problem. This is what we need to remember. Now, I'm gonna show you here the algebraical part, but then I'm gonna give you a trick. So if you don't understand this part, it's okay, because the trick is very easy. But let's go ahead and understand why I can go ahead and figure it out, the value of the 30 degree angle and the hypotenuse only with the value of nine. But let's remember that the value of the 60 degree angle is always equals to x times the square root of three. So I can say that nine is equals to x times the square root of three. Now remember, I want the value of x by itself. So what I do is that I get rid of the square root of three. How do I do that? This is just like a regular number. I just divide both sides by the square root of three. Now that I do that, I can go ahead and simplify this radical. Remember, I can never have a radical in the denominator. So what I do here, I rationalize the denominator. How do I do that? I multiply square root of three on the numerator and square root of three on the denominator. Once I do that, I can go ahead and say that nine times the square root of three is nine square root of three, right? And then the bottom is gonna be square root of three times square root of three is equals to square root of nine. A square root of nine is equals to three. As you can see here, I can actually cancel one nine with a three and that will be equals to three square root of three. Now, can I do this in an easier way? Sure you can. I'm gonna show you now how to do this in an easier way. This is a shortcut. When they give you the value of 60 as a whole number, just go ahead and divide that number by three. Remember, nine divided by three is just equals three, and then just add the square root of three to your number, and that will be your value of x. All right, also, the hypotenuse is two times the value of x. In this case, this is gonna be two times, three times the square root of three. Let's do some examples. Now, they give me the value of 60 and this guy is six. How do I do this? Remember, the trick says divide the whole number by three and then just add the square root of three to your answer. I go ahead and divide six by three that's gonna give me two, and then I just add the square root of three. Therefore, the value of x, or the value of the 30 degree angle, is two times the square root of three. Moreover, the hypotenuse is the value of two times x. Well, remember, x was two times the square root of three. Therefore, two times two will give me four times the square root of three. Now, if your radicals are not very strong, and when I say radicals, I mean the square roots, I need to make sure that you know the lesson about radicals. So before going to this triangle, make sure that you understand how to multiply radicals and all of that, because without that, this is gonna be very confusing. But I'm just gonna review this more, one more time. If this is six, the value of 30, I just divide this number by three, that gives me the two, and then I just add the square root of three. For the hypotenuse, I just multiply this value times two, and I get four times the square root of three. All right, one more. Remember, the 60 degree is a whole number. So I'm gonna go ahead and divide it by three and then add the square root of three. That gives me six times the square root of three. Finally, the hypotenuse is two times this value, which is going to give me 12 times the square root of three. Finally, let's just do one more. Now they give me the hypotenuse. And as you can see here, I have a radical in the hypotenuse. Not a problem. Remember, the ratio is always x, x square root of three to x. So when I have this, I just make it equal to two x. Then I divide both sides by two because I want to eliminate the two. I get a nine. Finally, I can get that the value of x is equal to nine times the square root of three. And 60 has to be what? Well, remember 60 is x times the square root of three. So since the value of x is nine times the square root of three, if I multiply that times the square root of three, that gives me 27. Another one, let's see if you can do this one by yourself. Six times the square root of three, well remember, the hypotenuse is two x, therefore x has to be six divided by two, 
Now my 30 degree angle is 3 times the square root of 3. Finally, I multiply this value times the square root of 3 and that's equals to 9. Conclusion. The 36 to 90 will always have the same ratio. X, X times the square root of 3 and 2 times X. You just need to make sure you solve for X. Once you have X, which is also the value of the 30 degree angle, you can finish the whole triangle. I hope you learned a lot in this lesson and I can't wait to see you next time.